Welcome to me and you outside again. Appreciate you being here. Going to skin a beaver. Going to smoke the beaver. Going to eat a beaver. And you're going to want to watch this because it's going to be interesting. I've eaten a lot of beaver. I've eaten baked beaver. Uh, I can't remember ever eating a smoked beaver, but I've eaten them baked and stuff like that. But I'm going to bake this beaver. It's not a really big beaver. I caught it in a previous video. You may have seen. Um, this is a yearling right here. So it's going to be very tender. I'm kind of excited about that because it is a young, 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 young beaver. So um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and skin it. Not going to show a whole lot of the skinning because uh, the snowflakes at YouTube don't like to see a lot of blood and guts. They, they, they just drives them nuts. They can't take it. It uh, gets on their feelings or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to skin this beaver. I'll show some of it uh, without showing too much blood and guts. But uh, just stay right there. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> I have started skinning this beaver. All I did is I made a cut from the base of the tail here all the way up to the to the end of the chin. And now I'm going to just cut this hide off of here like this. This is kind of how you got to do a beaver. You can't just pull it like you can a raccoon or a possum or a coyote or a fox or any of those animals. It's like kind of skinning a, a groundhog. You may have seen me do that on another video too, but... Um, you just gotta cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. I'm not being real picky because I'm I'm uncertain what I'm gonna do with this fur. It was a great big beaver. I may try to sell it, but these little beavers like this, I just don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna do this all the way, just like this right here. It ain't gonna take much more, and I'll have this done. Like I say, I'm gonna take his insides, his guts, and I'm gonna use them for coyote bait. Beaver is great bait for predators crazy to think about but it is coyotes can catch a small beaver but the big beaver mm -mm, they won't mess with them they're too they're too mean and they got teeth on the clamp right through the bone of the coyote all right that's what i'm doing right here all the way down around i'll do it take it off and uh get her gut out show it looks like i'll clean that pretty that's what it looks like right there. Got some good meat on them uh, hind legs right there. There's good meat down this back strap right here. Front legs don't have a whole lot of meat on them, but it's got some. So we'll put this thing on the smoker. That'll be the next thing you'll see. And let's just see what this tastes like smoked. I think it's going to be wonderful. Hang right in there. You've seen the previous video where I caught a young beaver in a caught bear trap. I'm going to smoke that little rascal. I've got him all skint and all prepared. I've got my charcoal going here. You can see that smoke there in the background. I love charcoal smoking things. i got me some water right here. There's my charcoal. It's getting really hot. I need to put the beaver on there as quick as I can. This is a beaver. All I did was put some Lowry seasoning salt on there and some uh, um, other seasoning, brown sugar bourbon by Grill Mates. I put that on there. I'm gonna set him on there just like that. That's a beaver right there. It's an entire beaver, minus the head, obviously. But I'm gonna grill him or I'll smoke him for about an hour and a half, two hours here. Then I'm gonna take him out, roll him in foil, and probably put him back here, put him back in the oven, haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. But stay right there. We're gonna we're gonna have my grandkids down here in a minute after I get this done. And so you'll see that here in just a little bit. I want to I want them to try beaver. They've never eaten beaver in their life, and so uh they're willing to try anything. These kids, I swear, they don't care. They're not picky. They'll try anything. And Brindley's a little more pickier than Jackson, but they have a lot of fun doing this. So you stay right there. Let's see what the reaction is to smoked beaver. It's going to be kind of fun. Thanks for watching. Be right there. And it has been one hour and a half. I have not looked at this yet, but I'm anxious to see it. Oh, man. That's looking really good. Look how brown that is. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in foil. I think I might leave it in here. I've got pretty much a good pile of charcoal still there, so it'll stay hot for a long time. I'll get him wrapped up in foil, put a little butter in there. Kind of put some butter on the meat and just kind of put uh, wrap it in foil and uh, give it another hour, two hours probably in that foil, I hope. And we'll come back. It's going to be something. All right, the beaver is pulled off of the smoker. I put it in the oven for right at two hours at 275 degrees. I couldn't I couldn't uh, make up my mind to do 250 or 300, so I just put the difference in 275. 
for, I'll write it, two hours. It smoked for an hour and a half on the grill. And uh, I'm gonna uncover it here, see what it looks like. Yeah. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna cut off part of the back strap back here. Hold that for me, would you? Don't get too much of the sun out there. It's a pretty good looking piece of meat, actually. <laughs> Look at that, friendly. That's cool, it's a big piece. Let me put that right there. We'll cut this into smaller pieces. It's really tender, man. Couldn't have Jackson with me because his aunt kind of got him just before I was going to get him. She beat me to him. So I've got Brindley here tasting this beaver with me. And Brindley's an old professional taster from way back. She's always helped me taste stuff. But uh, she's never had a beaver in her entire life, have you, Brindley? No. So we got beaver right here and she's going to try it. My wife's in the house, but she wouldn't have, she, I couldn't get her to participate. She just didn't want to participate in this beaver. All right, Brindley, take a hunk of that and try it. <laughs> like, just shove it all in the milk? Yeah, whole thing. Let's go. Mmm, it's good. Is it really good? Mm-hmm. It tastes like more like that piece of fish that was I liked. I don't remember what one. So let me try a piece of that. This is beaver backstrap right here. Oh man, that tenders all get out. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Friends, that's really good. I'm not. I'm not just saying that either. If we're going to go, we tell you. Why not? What difference does it make? I'm going to try another one. It's just so good. It is. Wow. I feel like I need to have Jackson come down here after a while and try it. Well, look who we've added to the mix. Jackson was able to come home, and he's about to try some beaver. Now, what I did is I took that other loin, and I just chunked it up just like I did the first one. He has never had beaver in his entire life, have you, Jackson? Nope, not one. All right, well, this is going to be interesting for him. Take a bite of that, Jackson, big old hunk of it, and see what you think. Which one's the biggest? <laughs> That'd be good. Yep, it's super good. I really like it. Eat some more and make sure. All right. Nope, I don't anymore. Eat some more and make sure. <laughs> okay, my final decision is yes, it's super good. I really like it. Tastes like roast beef kind of does. It does, yeah. There you go. I had to throw Jackson in the mix. <laughs> Mm. I'm turning off a piece of meat on this leg here. What's off the leg right there? Mmm. Oh, Brentley likes it now. And Brentley's a little more of a pickier eater, eater than a lot of us around here. But she says it's good. Uh, George is good. Well, I've eaten beaver. I've never eaten a smoked beaver like that. That is really delicious. One last piece there, Brandon. Gonna do it before we sign off. So, Brindley's, Brindley likes beaver. <laughs> That's funny or what?
But I like beaver, too. And you would like beaver, too, if you smoke it like this. It is wonderful. I know this has been a short video. Kind of on the tail end of the video where I caught this in a, in a, um, in a trap, brought it home, cleaned it, and all that stuff. But uh, beaver is delicious, folks. Can you believe that? It is really, really good when it's smoked and cooked like this. So we're going to sit here and eat a little more of this. And then we're going to go inside and uh, hang out, go in there and play some games, or who knows what we'll do. No, I can't do that. I'm going deer hunting. Sorry. All right. <laughs> May have to take you home. Appreciate you watching this episode of Me and You Outside. Subscribe, that little circle that you're going to see pop up. You subscribe on that circle if you would. I'd thank you very much. And wherever you're at in this uh, whole world, have a good morning, good day, good night. And uh, another video is coming. Right around the corner.